الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علیہ وصحبہ وسلم مبع Continuing on with our treaties and our discussion of Shaykh Ahmed Al-Atiq's Mukhtasar Fi Aqeedah, the concise or summarized chapters in creed, in the Islamic belief. We discussed already the importance of creed and that the Muslim's religion is built upon that. That is the core of the belief because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask you questions in the grave and those questions revolve around our creed, revolve around men rabbuk, مَا دِينَكْ مَنْ نَبِيَكْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your Prophet? The Prophet Muhammad صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ These things we're going to be asked about. These are the most important matters. And this is how the people of Ahl al-Bid'ah, the people of Shirk, the people of Kufr, this is how they will try to take you away from the correct path. This is how they will try to derail you from, your, uh, from the religion of Islam, is through doubtfulness, by coming at you, the Shia. How do they, deal, how do they entice uh, new Muslims and even Muslims that are ignorant? They entice them through their ignorance with their wealth. And they entice them by changing their creed. But the one who's firm upon the Sunnah, firm upon correct Islamic monotheism and belief, they cannot be deterred by the people of doubt and shubahat. The Shaykh went on to discuss in the next chapter, he talked about worship. What is sound worship? He said worship, taken uh, from the statement of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, where the Shaykh, Shaykh al-Islam said, Al-ibada kullu ma yuhibbuhu Allah wa yardahu min af'al wa aqwal uh, من أفعال وأقوال ظاهر والباطن وكما قال شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية he said that worship it encompasses all sayings and deeds that Allah loves and is pleased with whether apparent or concealed and worship is built upon two very important foundations we've already discussed them the first is sincerity in the religion uh, or in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, وَمَا أُمِرُوا لَلِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ اللَّهُ دِينَ هُنَا فَاوِ يُقِيمُوا صَلَاءُ وَيُتُوا زَكَاءُ وَذَلِكَ دِينُ الْقَيِّمَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know in Surah Al-Bayyana that the people from before us, they were not commanded except to worship Allah with sincerity. In true monotheism, so that is the evidence that sincerity is a pillar or a foundation for worship. Also, the Prophet ﷺ let us know through many ahadiths that the importance of sincerity. He told us that the first people who will be in, judged in the, on the Day of Judgment will be those who will be tested for their sincerity. The Prophet ﷺ said that the three people, the mujahid, the person who sought the knowledge, and the person who spent, they will be asked about what they did. Did they do it for the sake of Allah? Or did they do it for something in the dunya? And those three will reply, they did it for Allah, but Allah will show that they lied and will throw them in the hellfire. So sincerity, that's the first pillar of, uh, of worship is that we worship Allah and Allah alone, and we worship for the sake of Allah. We do all of our acts of worship to please Allah and directed only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second pillar or foundation for worship is following the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al-mahdi.